Hello. It is uh, still day ten. Although obviously this is going to be for the day eleven, and it's about an hour so from officially day eleven. So we'll make that the entry for it. Um, it's 11, actually, just nearly pa 10 past 11 p.m. in the evening, and about five hours ago I went to bed. After being up for like nearly 30 hours, and yeah, after four and a half hours sleep, just woke up, wide awake, struggling to get back to sleep. So I decided to screw it. If insomnia is not going to return to the land of slumber and my sweet motivational zombies, might as well go out and get some food. Yes, out here in the rain for a bus that is running 10 minutes late. Yeah, I guess this is the insomnia episode. Ah, so. For those uninitiated into the Insomnia Gang, um, it is when, for whatever reason, your brain doesn't allow you to sleep. <sighs> now, there can be many functions to it, or dysfunctions to it, in particular um, if you consume a lot of caffeine, a lot of stress, your brain's always on. So much to think about. Everything that clearly I don't have in my life right now is everything I have in my life right now. I did say it's right quarter past eleven at night, and I do live on the edge of the middle of nowhere from a major city, but still, traffic is the norm. And I am flying the urge to fake right now. Oh, that's good. Hey, I got insomnia. This is to um, treat it. That and black hole. Which I don't have. Just a joke. It's also on the only YouTube ones. Anywho. Oh, and this is just mental thing. I find it soothing. I say, right now, puffing on it, as I'm shivering a little bit, but to be fair, it is raining, and I'm cold, and I should be in bed sleeping, but it doesn't happen, as I found out for the past hours, although I did put the past hour to good use, uh, been seeing some messages from people, a lot of messages from people, thank you guys, we appreciate it, more than that, um, the nice to have especially after the topic of the last video so this one I decided to go a lighter approach oh try and talk about it I'll, I think it's more a case of demonstration of it but yeah so uh, basically the reason I'm a bit active is my brain just woke up active and replied to an email from the job hunt site and then decided well might as well deal with this because I think that's something that just woke me up, kept me up. So yeah, did, did apply to a lot. I think half a dozen job applications. I think the uh, part of me, the um, straightforward, we can do anything. This is what we know we can do for certain. But for a good amount of pay, the, the, that big motivational part. Actually the, the positive part. Mood wise, it's in a positive. I said, I'm, it's weird. I'm happy, not in the excited, happy, yay, joyful, joyfulness, but definitely in the positive. Definitely feeling above bar, you could say. But it is. Hold on. Yeah, it's, it's recording. <laughs> Hate to have been out here holding my phone out. My left hand freezing. Which, funny enough, I'm not kind of feeling. 
Ah, in fact, I think a part of my summary for today is the fact uh, uh, Ash, yeah, I haven't eaten yet. I'm, my stomach's waking up for the first time in ages. And I thought, let me indulge it, sort that out. You know, either help me go to sleep or something from it. <sighs> By the way, I haven't even had coffee since I woke up. This is just me all natural. I've, a part of it, it seems, is I've now developed or it's come back into effect that at night I just find myself becoming more consciously awake and boom. Hence how being a little awake 30 hours and yet just need four hours and suddenly up and active and could go on a night hike. So tempted to hike right now, especially with the bus. And the rain. And it's not windy. But it's a stagnant, chilling. It's really chilly. Just my hand. But it's cool enough for me to be slowly waddling and marching up and down, giving different lights, angle, and giving you hoodie glow. Or furry beast man. 2019, 2020 edition. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, it's keeping my attention. Give me something to do. And it means I've got an excuse to edit a video. On a likelihood that I can't go straight to sleep after I eat it. Yeah. See, part of my insomnia back when I'm London would be at these times I would literally go out in the middle of the night and hike and walk. And technically I could as place only for a bus ride it's literally five ten minutes. Away. But by bus, but this one, but not the great one But uh, walking distance is a good half an hour. 35 minutes, leisure pace, from dark alleyways or along the highway, near an hour from neighbourhoods that's a bit of a distance away, it's just treacherous, it's along the world, past nightly little forest, which to be fair in London, I was used to and would have fun with, right now, it's so fun, Ooh, but my bus is here. Continue this later. And I'm back. He's got in. Very quick bus trip. 20 minutes. And it stopped raining. Actually, I on the way back I did ring a bell like a stop earlier, but still got me off here. I was the bus drive on. Other times you said, hey, part of insomnia, though at this point, this might be more attribution to just nightlife or night mode, I mean, human night mode. But, uh, yeah. Really nice view. So it's going to go and hoodie over my PJs and I'm wearing those socks. So I did it when I was And no doubt we might pick up at any moment and dump a whole amount of water. All natural. So I think I'm just gonna scroll back home. Um but yeah this is a so here's a taster intro to type insomnia I deal with or what my current sleep schedule and night day cycle is like if you guys want to let me know about yours or what's it like uh, maybe start like a nighttime chat group or something who knows but uh, yeah to those who of you are watching thank you I hope this helps cathartically emotionally comfortingly of just the attainment of seeing me rambling on around. Ooh. Well, the time's not on because I'm recording, but 
pre-midnight. So, uh, this is day 11. Well, day night 10 going into day 11. And thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. Yeah.
general, depending on if I make this part of the same insomnia video or two part part. Uh -huh. Yeah, I self identify I've always been on the outskirts of my social groups for many reasons. In general, I just feel different at times. Reading to that in the multiple session rooms, probably this one only recently came out. And only in my thirties and to clean have a complete idea of who I am and a drive to life so then again maybe that's general with everyone. Or oh, I am unique in my own weird ways. Who knows? But then it always explains I say part that unique it's so the way this is that sweet time. Uh, in my case definitely definitely kicked in the moment of our last my last seminar class. No doubt I'll go back to the regular sleep night awake day schedule when my class start. And most definitely it's gonna but anyway when I finally find a job. But till then I mean, the reason I'm up and out on this day is because I'm out to meet a friend and socialize today. Would I be up at around this time? Probably. Would I be actually out? Probably not. I mean, I had any plans of what I want to do this week, but then beginning of the week, my son only kicked in again, so almost partly with stick with the comfort of the schedule or almost reinforce that sense of self-isolation or different. Maybe it's like an internal mental protest I'm having. Like reinforce and shout out to the world that my life is still not normalized or my life has not got a great schedule to it, therefore why should I self-regulate myself? self work play, should I say. When life keeps throwing in randomness and noise, you might as well just embrace the randomness, including the way it's in fact. Thus, with my insomnia dictates that I'm up periodically for 30 plus hours, <laughs> and then sleep 4 hours max before I'm up and out again, being driven to do creative stuff. Definitely close. Till then, catch you guys in the next video.